We have another example of a regressive leftist. Former Russia Today host Abby Martin, who now presents a show on a network funded by Venezuela's communist government. When I drew attention to Martin's ludicrous suggestion that the San Bernardino attacks had nothing to do with Islam, labeling her a regressive leftist, Martin shot back by claiming that anyone who used the term regressive left was merely covering for their quote, irrational fear of Muslims. Unfortunately for Abby, the term regressive left was coined by Majid Nawaz, a Muslim. You realize you just epitomized the very reason I coined the term, yours, a Muslim, responded Nawaz. In addition, Martin's claim that people like me who use the term regressive left are just absolving their support for the empire is completely debunked by the fact that I've opposed every single war in the Middle East. So again, Martin exhibited one of the defining characteristics of the regressive left. Immediately play the Islamophobia card when you're called out on your hypocrisy. But in reacting with such vitriol against anyone who criticizes the intolerant aspects of Islam, regressive leftists are themselves engaging in a form of bigotry. The bigotry of low expectations. Brain force is here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been on this the last few months. You probably noticed I've been more crazed, more focused, less brain fog, more energy, more special reports, and it's because of brain force. One of the worst things with most energy products is it's not sustainable, right? You're gonna crash, you're gonna feel really bad afterwards. This has a bunch of different antioxidants and compounds and polyphenols. Everybody's on these drugs to knock their brain out because the brain's so fried. We kept changing this formula over and over and over again until it became sort of a grand puzzle. For example, the L-theanine inside of it, that is activated by the different compounds in the yerba mate that we put inside of it as well. This just increases the compounds you already have. This is what you're actually designed to run on. Exactly. It's kind of like a car will run on one form of junkie gas, but it runs really good on what it's designed for. You will find Brain Force, Survival Shield X2, and other game-changing products at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Introducing Secret 12, the new InfoWars Life vitamin B12 formulation. Most forms of vitamin B12 are highly processed and synthetic and could not be properly absorbed by the body. That's why for real results, so many are having to turn to painful B12 injections, which are known to have higher absorption rates. Now, InfoWarsLife.com is excited to announce that we can bring you our most bioactive, powerful form of B12 that has been developed with our exclusive perfected process. Secret 12 is a binary of Nutramedical grade, bioavailable coenzyme forms of B12, methylcobalamin, the same kind used in B12 injections, and adenosyl cobalamin. Secret 12 is simply taken by mouth, right on the tongue, and then swallowed. No needles, no injections. Don't take my word for it. Try it for yourself. Discover the secret. Secret 12. Secure your revolutionary Secret 12 formula right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Joe Biggs here with InfoWars.com. Now we are on the ground in Oregon outside of the Mount here Wildlife Refuge. Now just days ago, armed militiamen came in with a idea, with a, a voice that they wanted to be heard. They wanted to show the U.S. government, the BLM, the Bureau of Land Management, that taking our land is not going to happen anymore. And these patriots showed up and said, enough is enough. Now, there's a lot of speculation as to what's going on. Now, yesterday in Oregon, the entire trending thing on Twitter was Oregon under attack. The mainstream media has blown this completely out of proportion and tried to compare it as to why are people naming uh, the Black Lives Matter, people who uh, rioted in Ferguson Terrace, but they're not calling these men here the terrorists. Well, as you can see, we're in the middle of nowhere in Oregon. It took us hours to get here on snow-covered roads. And as you can see behind me, there are men who have occupied that guard tower. They have the road blocked off into the entrance, and there's a media set up over here where people are doing their reports about what is going on. Now, what we know is Ammon Bundy, the son of Clive and Bundy, part of the historical standoff against the BLM 
a little over a year ago, is one of the men who is in charge of leading this protest. Now, they do say that they will remain peaceful, but if necessary, if the government does come in and shoots first, they will respond. So this is a very tense standoff, even though we are in the middle of nowhere. This is something to pay attention to because is it going to turn out the exact same way as last time when people showed up in mass numbers riding around with American flags and push away the BLM? Or this time, is the government going to use dirtier tactics? Now, yesterday we had information that there were drones flying over this area right now and that there were also snipers in positions surrounding this area watching. Now we've gotten reports that the FBI is on their way out here. Now they could be off in far distances from here. There's a lot of areas with hills and vantage points where it'd be easy to spot and look to see if anything were to happen. If the BLM does come up here and approach, then the FBI can sit there from the backside. And in other events like this before, we've seen in the past where these situations do get infiltrated. Now we do know that the Bundys are great people. They've done awesome things in the past. and. I understand where they're coming from when they do this. But another thing we have to look at as well, though, too, the city of Burns and the family of uh, Hammonds have pretty much shown that they don't want any outside help, that they have come to the conclusion that they are going to turn themselves in and just go ahead and put this to rest. You've got a lot of people in the city of Burns, from what I've seen in uh, reports previously the past week, where it says, go home Bundys, go home militia. So there is a mixed feeling about what's going on. Earlier, I spoke to a lady at a gas station up the road, and she said she could understand what's going on. So you definitely have mixed emotions about what is going on out here. I do understand why they're here. I understand why they're doing it. I just hope that nothing bad happens. And I do feel that sometimes you can do things at the wrong time. Like Alex said yesterday, that this couldn't have happened at a worse time because today you have President Barack Obama coming out with a video at some point in time today addressing the nation, talking about stricter gun control. Now, this is something that he could definitely use to push that agenda because most people aren't going to come out here and look at what's really going on which is not Oregon under attack. What's really going on are a bunch of patriots who have decided to stand up against a tyrannical government and said enough is enough. But they want you to think something else is going on. That's why the Obama administration wants the mainstream uh, media to push that narrative that Oregon's under attack, that there's white terrorists out here uh, that have infiltrated this uh, quiet you know, national refuge and that they're gonna come out here and terrorize people. And as you can see, that clearly isn't the case. So over the next couple days, we'll be documenting what's going on as things unfold. Now, we are in Oregon, in between Burns and the Malheur National Wildlife Refuge. Now, earlier today, I had the opportunity to stand with Ammon Bundy as he spoke to the national media. And in this, he addressed his concerns, what he was upset about and why he was here in the first place. He's concerned about the way the, the Hammond case has been handled. He wants the media to look into the Hammond case further and hopes that maybe they'll open that case up again and look at some more evidence that they believe they have would help clear the Hammonds, thus getting them out of another jail sentence. Now tonight, we have President Barack Obama coming out, addressing the nation with his plans of stricter gun control. Now we've seen time and time again across this country in the states that have some of the strictest gun control, the crime is through the roof. Number one, criminals don't listen to laws. So when you disarm the American people, they will not be able to defend themselves. And he is gonna use this as a backdrop. What's happening with the Bundys, with the militia, and use that and put that tag that the mainstream media has been using for the past few days, white terrorists, armed terrorists, militiamen with guns. Yes, the Bundys and militiamen took over an unoccupied federal building, and it's out in the middle of nowhere. Their stand against a tyrannical government who has overstepped its boundaries by grabbing people's land that they've had in their family for hundreds of years is getting to a point where Enough people around this country are saying enough is enough. That's why people have shown up and are expected to show up in large numbers in support of what Ammon Bundy has called the nation to help him with. Now, I full-heartedly agree with his intentions. I think that 
deep down inside, he really wants to make a stand against the government, that he really wants to show America that when the government gets out of control, you can be heard, your voice can be heard, and you can make a change. Now, there's different ways of going about it. There's been Black Lives Matter protests where people lay down on the road, and I don't agree with that. But I understand why they are doing a lot of that stuff. I can understand why people protest these things, but there's a way to do it and to handle it. Out here, there's no Oregon under attack. This is in the middle of nowhere. No one is being harmed. But I will put a side note in. Ammon Bundy has said that if the federal government does come in and they do take some kind of action towards them, um, shots fired, something like that, maybe harm someone, that they will respond with an appropriate force. So yes, this is a standoff. This is something that is tense, even though it is peaceful at the moment. The times that I've been in Ferguson, they were peaceful, but then something pops off and things can get crazy really fast. But out here, I don't see that happening so much. There's not gonna be that widespread damage of a town. You're not gonna have the chaos, the, the burning of buildings that you saw in Ferguson and Baltimore. And that's not going to happen out here. This will be something a lot smaller, but people could get really hurt. We have reports that yesterday that there are drones flying over this area. That there are government officials already in this area keeping an eye on the Bundys and the militia. Now today when I was out there, I saw no armed militia. Yes, I have a big jacket on. Those guys have some jackets on. There's a possibility they might have a pistol. That doesn't bother me. I'm all for the Second Amendment. But the mainstream media keeps wanting to push this narrative that they're all out here armed, that there's this attack happening in Oregon, that these are terrorists, which is not the case. These are true Americans who are standing up against a tyrannical government. So stay tuned for more reports at Infowars.com. Make sure you go into the Alex Jones Facebook, go to the Real Alex Jones YouTube and Twitter channels for updates as they unfold here in Oregon. Once again, I'm Joe Biggs reporting for Infowars.com. Well, that's it for our show tonight. Be sure to go to prisonplanet.tv and get yourself a free trial. You can see the nightly news, the special reports, the rants, all right there at prisonplanet.tv. And also, don't forget, go to the Alex Jones channel on YouTube where you can see all of the rest of the great reports, special reports from Alex uploaded straight from his iPhone. Well, that's it for the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm your host, Jakari Jackson, and we'll see you again tomorrow night. The Federal Reserve is a private banking cartel. The yeah, Fed is a sometimes very independent uh, organization. What should be the proper relationship between the chairman of the Fed and a president of the United States? The Federal Reserve is an independent agency. There is no other agency of government which can overrule actions that we take. They print our money and then loan it to us at interest. The IRS is their collection agency. So long as that is in place and there is no evidence that the administration or the Congress or anybody else is uh, requesting that we do things other than what we think is the appropriate thing, then what the relationships are uh, don't frankly matter. Jeff Duncan says he saw IRS special agents using semi-automatic rifles at a gun range. Now he wants answers to why the agency needs that type of firepower. Is this global governance at last? Is it one world? The central bank is in charge. Know your history and you will know your enemy. Infowars.com I'm not gonna sit here and take it anymore. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep. Knockout's it. Infowarslife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA, so it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these, and it just is really clean, restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced. And it just synergistically puts everything in there. Infowarslife.com. That's Infowarslife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. You are watching the Infowars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at Infowarsnews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.